नैनो फैब्रिकेशन बाय लिथोग्राफी लिथोग्राफी मीन्स राइटिंग ऑन स्टोन्स सम पैटर्न कैन बी क्रिएटेड ऑन द स्टोन्स विच कैन बी रिप्लीकेटेड ऑन द प्रिंटिंग मीडिया लिथोग्राफी इज बेसिकली अ पैटर्न ट्रांसफरिंग प्रोसेस इट कैन बी अंडरस्टूड बाई यूजिंग सिंपल ऑप्सेट लिथोग्राफी विच इज यूज इन प्रिंटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी इन ऑप्सेट लिथोग्राफी इमेजेस ऑन द मेटल प्लेट आर ट्रांसफर्ड टू द रबर ब्लैंकेट्स एंड देन दे आर ट्रांसफर्ड टू द प्रिंट मीडिया विच इज यूजली अ पेपर इन दिस प्रोसेस द इमेज इज फर्स्ट अप्लाइड टू अ मेटल प्लेट यूजिंग अ स्पेशल ग्रीसी इंक आफ्टर दैट अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ गम अरेबिक एंड नाइट्रिक एसिड इज अप्लाइड टू द ब्लैंकेट सिलेंडर द एरिया विच इज कवर्ड विद गम अरेबिक प्रोड्यूस एज अ वॉटर रिसेप्टिव नॉन प्रिंटिंग एरिया एंड द एरिया विच इज कवर्ड विद नाइट्रिक एसिड प्रोड्यूस एज अ ग्रीस रिसेप्टिव इमेज एरिया द प्रिंटिंग सर्फेस इज केप्ट वेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ वॉटर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ऑइल बेस्ड इंक रोल्स ओवर द सर्फेस एंड ओनली इंक स्टिक्स टू द ग्रीस रिसेप्टिव इमेज एरिया नाउ द पेपर इज प्लेस्ड अगेंस्ट द सर्फेस एंड द प्लेट इज रन थ्रू अ प्रेस द इमेज इज रेप्लिकेटेड ऑन द पेपर इन नैनो टेक्नोलॉजी लिथोग्राफी टेक्निक इज यूज एज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ इम्प्रिंटिंग राइटिंग और इचिंग पैटर्न ऑन अ नैनो स्केल टू बिल्ड एक्सट्रीमली स्मॉल स्ट्रक्चर्स फॉर पैटर्निंग एट अ नैनो स्केल सेवरल लिथोग्राफिक टेक्निक्स कैन बी यूज सम ऑफ द मोस्टली यूज टेक्निक्स आर फोटो लिथोग्राफी विच मेक्स यूज ऑफ लाइट एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम लिथोग्राफी विच मेक्स यूज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम फॉर पैटर्न ट्रांसफरिंग प्रोसेस इन द फेब्रिकेशन ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर आईसीज इंटीग्रेटेड चिप्स विच कंटेन मिलियंस ऑफ कंपोनेंट्स ऑन इट और नैनो इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सिस्टम्स नेम्स दिस फोटो लिथोग्राफी टेक्निक इज वेरी यूजफुल This photolithography technique can create features as small as 50 nanometers. In complex IC fabrication process, the semiconductor wafer will have to go through this photolithographic process many times. In this photolithographic process, different type of light can be used such as ultraviolet light, extreme ultraviolet light or x-rays. The wavelength of light used determines the minimum feature size that can impress the photoresist. In short, the minimum feature size depends on the wavelength of light. What is this photoresist? That we will understand in the coming slides. These are the things which are needed in nano fabrication by photolithography. First one is hydrofluoric acid. This hydrofluoric acid is needed to clean the semiconductor wafer thoroughly. When semiconductor wafer is dipped into the hydrofluoric acid, it removes the silicon dioxide from the wafer surface. Next is HMDS, hexamethyl diazolazine. It is one of the primer which is coated on the semiconductor wafer surface. to improve the addition of photoresist on the surface of the substrate next is a photolithography mask it is an opaque plate or film with transparent areas through which light can fall on the semiconductor wafer which is coated with a photoresist this mask has got a pattern which is to be transferred on the semiconductor wafer next thing needed is a photoresist material it is the organic material which transfers the designed pattern onto the semiconductor wafer surface with the help of a mask when exposed to the light this photoresist material undergoes some light triggered chemical reaction and this causes the illuminated region to either more or less acidic If the illuminated region becomes more acidic the material is called as positive photoresist and if the exposed region becomes less acidic then it is negative photoresist in case of positive photoresists 
द रीजन विच इज एक्सपोज टू लाइट बिकम्स मोर सोल्यूबल इन द अल्कली सोल्यूशन एंड देयर फोर कैन बी इजीली रिमूव इन द डेवलपिंग प्रोसेस द नेट रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इज द पैटर्न विच इज फॉर्म्ड ऑन टू द सेमी कंडक्टर वेफर इन केस ऑफ पॉजिटिव फोटो रेजिस्ट इज सेम एज द पैटर्न ऑन द मास्क बट इन केस ऑफ निगेटिव फोटो रेजिस्ट द एक्सपोज रीजन टू द लाइट बिकम्स लेस सोल्यूबल इन द अल्कली and therefore the patterns engraved are reverse of the mask patterns these are various steps involved in photolithography process the first step is wafer cleaning in this step the semiconductor wafer is dipped into the hydrofluoric acid this removes the silicon dioxide from the semiconductor wafer surface after this the semiconductor wafer surface is cleaned with the help of deionized water and then dried with the help of nitrogen air and then our substrate is ready on which the pattern can be imprinted in the second step the semiconductor wafer is coated with a primer hmds hexamethyl diazelazen This coating is done to improve the addition of photoresist material on the surface of the substrate. After that, high temperature baking is done and this removes the moisture from the wafer surface. After coating HMDS primer, a spin coat of liquid polymer which is called as photoresist is applied. This photoresist material have got high each reaction and addition properties thickness of this photoresist coat depends on the rotation per minute and time it is a spin coating so rotations per minute and the time for which it is coated decides the thickness of this photoresist material now what is the job of this photoresist material we have already discussed in the earlier slide along with the mask this photoresist material will print the pattern onto the semiconductor wafer surface after the spin coating of photoresist soft baking is done at uh, around 90 degree centigrade for 1 minute on the hot plate after soft baking the mask is aligned onto the semiconductor wafer surface and then it is exposed to the light when exposed to the light the photoresist material undergoes some light triggered chemical reaction and this causes the illuminated region to be either more or less acidic if they become more acidic they become more soluble in the alkali solution and the material is called as positive resist and if they become less acidic then they become less soluble in the alkali solution and such photoresist material is called as negative photoresist in the last step that is development step the resist is developed in the alkali solution such as sodium hydroxide this sodium hydroxide removes either the exposed region in case of positive photoresist or unexposed region in case of negative photoresist after the development the semiconductor wafer is hard baked in the high temperature in order to solidify the remaining photoresist this remaining photoresist can be used as a patterning mask for etching deposition or implantation after patterning the photoresist material is also stripped off from the wafer with appropriate solvents this is how the pattern is imprinted with the help of photolithography technique instead of light if electron beam is used in lithography then it is called as electron beam lithography in electron beam lithography the surface of the substrate that is the semiconductor wafer can be scanned with the help of a closely focused beam of electrons this electron beam lithography can create features as small as 20 nanometers in case of photography 
photo lithography it was uh, 50 nanometers but electron beam lithography is very expensive and time demanding in case of photo lithography the pattern can be imprinted in 5 minutes but it will take uh, around 5 years with the help of electron beam lithography so it is expensive and time demanding but the smaller features can be obtained with the help of electron beam lithography so this is about the basic lithography techniques that are used in nanotechnology if you like this session please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends also thank you